feel like a headmaster, but it's time to go back inside. The digital age has undoubtedly affected the way the music industry works, and one of the most debate-provoking speeches at the IMS was delivered by author and journalist Andrew Keane. Why are we now in such crisis that more and more people are talking about the end of the recorded music business? I arrived in Ibiza last night and I was picked up by one of the, the guys working with, uh, with your event uh, on the cab side and he told me, I did a little bit of digging, he was a guy from Portsmouth, young fella, he used to be in the record business, he used to I think have a couple of labels and it doesn't work for him anymore, he told me. It doesn't work because people aren't buying the music, they're stealing it. So what happened? How did we go from this great optimism, this great excitement about the potential of digital to a crisis in the music business. The problem with the digital revolution is that it's killed the copy. Music has become free. The date perhaps which music became free was 1999 when Sean Fanning launched Napster. Technology now allows everyone to record their own work. In musical terms, it allows everyone, simply with a computer and an internet connection, to record and distribute their content. Professional musicians then are replaced by the amateur, the cult of the amateur, the cult of the innocent. The problem is, though, is that we all become, by definition, amateurs, because there isn't any money in it. They figured out that if you put technology on the internet, that gives us the illusion that we can all become creative, then they can collect on the back end through advertising. That's the YouTube model, that's the MySpace model. It's a brilliant model. You don't pay for content. You trick or you seduce the consumer into thinking that they're the new artist. You get their content for free and you sell advertising around that content. 